How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to show you how to do stat based damage over time skills. So if you take a look at our default poison, uh, how poison is handled by default is it's basically a negative regeneration. So your typical poison would do damage based on the maximum percentage of your uh, target's HP. But what if you're going to fight a really hard boss, right? And he's got a lot of HP, it's supposed to be a long fight and you're gonna have a whole party of people to do damage but if you give them poison and you don't make the boss immune to that status effect or say you have a class that has a lot of status effects but um, the boss has to be immune against those because they'll be too OP there's really no way to make like a warlock type class that does a lot of damage over time so with this uh, this method of using uh, your stats to do damage over time you can still make a warlock type class by adding um, some uh, some code to the note tag so let's look, take a look at this guy I've given him a million HP and if we use our default poison which is only 5% negative regeneration He's going to do a lot of damage each turn. So each turn, it's, it's doing 50,000 damage in a turn. It's a little overpowered, if you ask me. It's going to make these hard bosses um, either super weak because the skill is overpowered, or you have to make them immune and make your Warlock class basically obsolete in the fight. So the solution is to do something like this. So we've got Void Storm here, and the damage is based on the magic attack power, uh, the caster's magic attack power. And you can change the damage formula to be whatever you want. You can make like a tank that does damage um, based on his own defense. So the damage over time will be based on his defense. So we can see that at the end of the turn, he's taking 150. So we're doing... Um, uh, 50. This is with 50 magic attack power. So as we increase our stats, our damage over time is going to increase as well. So that's one way to do it. So now that we've uh, sh uh, taken a look at uh, why you'd want to not have a super overpowered regular default poison effect, let's take a look at how you can actually make uh, an interesting poison effect that uh, will apply damage over time based on your stats. So the first thing you need to do is create your skill. So it doesn't really matter what type it is. Give it the scope of one enemy or all enemies. It's up to you. Occasion will be battle screen. Uh, for the sake of this one, I've made it a magic skill with a magic attack and a breath animation and said cast. Um, description, up to you. You might want to include the damage formula that you're using right here. This damage formula right here can be changed. Um, we could make this times 5 or times 4, but that's not going to affect the damage over time. So when you cast this spell, it's going to do initial damage and then damage over time. If you want it to do no initial damage but just damage over time, you can completely get rid of this and it'll still work. Because what we're doing is we're going to add a state. So we'll go into the effects and add a state right here underneath other. Um, or actually state and then add state but before you really know what state to add let's go over to our states and create a state so this is our default poison and this is what it would look like without the state animation you just have your extra parameter and you'll go to HP regeneration and make that number a negative number that's gonna do damage based percentage uh, off of, uh, damage based on the percentage of your targets max HP which is completely overpowered so in this method we're basically creating um, a note tag. So you're going to need some plugins for this. I'm going to put a link in the description below to the plugins you need. You need the core engine, the battle engine core, and the buff states core for this to work, all from Yanfly. And I've made a really easy... I know you guys don't want me to put it in the in the description and have you guys copy or, or like uh, try to type it all out. So I took the liberty of going ahead and doing a, a little page for you guys so you can come to driftwoodgaming.com go to RPG Maker MV and click on stat based DOT and then there's some more descriptions on what you can do with this uh, this code and uh, how you can use it but here's the code so this is the plugins that you're gonna need and you don't have to search them up you can come here and click on the link you'll go right to Yanfly site to the exact page you need to get the plugins that you need for this you're just gonna go right here highlight all that right click that copy that Go back into your project and on the state that you want to be uh, added from a skill, you just paste it in your note tags. It's that simple. If you want that animation to play, you'll need a different plugin. That's the state uh, animation that we're giving it right there. You can, uh, can add that if you want to.
That's how, that's why it was like flashing purple, but that's not part of this tutorial. So all you have to do is give it an auto removal timing, action in however many turns you want it to last, and here's where you edit how much damage it does. So you're going to type in origin dot, and then you can use any of the other commands that you can use inside of the damage formula. So if we wanted this to be based off your physical attack power, you just change MAT to ATK. And now it'll take your attack stat instead of your magic attack stat. Or you can even have uh, DEF times 3 or times 10 or times 100 or whatever you want. If you want, you can even have custom game variables. You can say the damage for this DOT is going to be based off of uh, game variables dot value of whatever variable you want. So whatever value is stored in one is going to be used as the damage over time. So you can really set this value to anything you want, making your damage over time a little more dynamic. So that's really it. I mean, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you want more. And check out Driftwood Gaming, uh, uh, driftwoodgaming.com if you want uh, the copy-paste code for this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.